Welcome to the Unraveling the Scriptures channel. Among the chapters of the Bible, where names like David, Solomon, and Moses stand out prominently, there is a character that remained in the shadows of history, almost forgotten. Her name is Abishag, and we will explore her life and impact on the intriguing Kingdom of Israel. We will discover surprising connections with other biblical characters and find lessons applicable to your own spiritual journey. So, I invite you to leave your like and share this video with friends and family to get to know and learn more about the scriptures. Abishag, the truth about the virgin who warmed King David. Abishag is an intriguing often forgotten figure in the Bible, whose story is mainly revealed in the Old Testament. She was a young Shunammite, originating from the city of Shunem, located in the Issachar region, north of Israel. Although her origin is briefly mentioned, her presence in the biblical narrative is significant. Abishag gained prominence for her unique role in the court of King David, as narrated in the books of 1 Kings, chapters 1 and 2, and Samuel, chapter 16. She is described as a woman of great beauty and wisdom, characteristics that made her notable in the royal palace. To understand the historical context of the Bible and situate Abishag, it is important to grasp the time in which she lived and the significant events of that period. Abishag lived during the reign of King David, who ruled Israel from around 1010 BC to about 970 BC. David's reign is a crucial part of biblical history, marked by significant events. Before becoming king, David was a young shepherd and skilled musician who played the harp. However, he gained fame by defeating the Philistine giant Goliath with a stone thrown from his sling, a kind of primitive weapon. This event occurred when David was still very young. By the way, the complete story of David, from his rise to his death, is fascinating. Let me know in the comments if you are interested in a video that tells everything about David. After the victory over Goliath, David rose to national hero and eventually became the unifying king of Israel. Recognized for his ability to unite the tribes of the north and south, he established Jerusalem as the unified capital, proclaiming it the city of David. His covenant with God culminated in the divine promise of an eternal throne for his descendants. Additionally, David is credited as the author of many Psalms, contributing significantly to the Book of Psalms in the Bible. However, towards the end of his life, David, one of the most prominent figures in the Old Testament, faced challenges that led him to require special care. Aging and physical frailty made him unable to generate warmth, even under many blankets. This vulnerability coincided with a succession conflict in Israel. Adonijah, David's fourth son and the son of Haggith, believing it to be the opportune moment to become king, acted as such and garnered followers seeking his support. This pursuit of the throne created instability and tension in David's court. Faced with this situation, David's servants decided to seek a young virgin capable of caring for the elderly king. They sought someone who could provide warmth and comfort during the nights when David felt the chill the most. It was then that Abishag, the Shunammite, was chosen for this task, playing a crucial role in the final days of David's reign. Abishag, renowned for her beauty and wisdom, became a living testament to her reputation when brought to the palace. Assigned to care for David, she played the role of a personal nurse. Her responsibility included lying beside the king, providing warmth, and ensuring his comfort in his physical weakness. The description of this episode is found in the first book of Kings, chapter 2, verses 2 to 4. It states the following, So his servant said to him, Let a young virgin be sought for my lord the king, and let her wait on the king and be in his service. Let her lie in your arms, that my lord the king may be warm. So they sought for a beautiful young woman throughout all the territory of Israel, and found Abishag the Shunammite, and brought her to the king and placed her in the king's service. This passage highlights Abishag's beauty and her crucial role in caring for King David, especially in providing warmth in his bed due to his advanced age. Abishag's presence in David's court had significant implications for the kingdom's politics. 
It is crucial to note that the choice of Abishag to care for David was largely a political decision. Her beauty and wisdom made her a notable figure in the court. However, Adonijah perceived the opportunity to use Abishag's presence to his advantage, making her a vital element in his strategy to assert his claim to the throne. He brought her to his own palace, seeking to consolidate his power by claiming to be the legitimate successor of David. In this context, Adonijah proclaimed himself king, held a coronation feast, and garnered the support of important figures, including Joab, the army commander, and Abiathar, the high priest of the kingdom. However, Adonijah's initiative to proclaim himself king without David's approval or appointment raised significant concerns. Bathsheba, Solomon's mother and an influential figure in the court, became aware of Adonijah's actions and realized it was time to act. She sought the prophet Nathan, who was close to David, and reported the situation. Nathan, recognizing the need to ensure David's wishes were fulfilled, devised a plan to secure Solomon, Bathsheba's son, as the crowned king. It is worth remembering that David had made a promise that Solomon, his son with Bathsheba, would be his successor to the throne of Israel. This promise is recorded in the Old Testament, in the first book of Kings. The priest Nathan went to Bathsheba, Solomon's mother, and said, Have you not heard that Adonijah, the son of Haggith, has become king without the knowledge of our Lord David? I will go and speak to King David and will make sure he confirms the oath he made, stating that Solomon, his son, will be the king after him. Bathsheba promptly agreed to Nathan's proposal. Nathan and Bathsheba presented the case to David, reminding him of his previous promise that Solomon would be his successor. In response, David acted swiftly and proclaimed Solomon as king, anointing him with sacred oil. The news of Solomon's coronation spread, and Adonijah's supporters fled in fear of reprisals. However, the conflict was not over. Adonijah, fearing the consequences of his attempt to usurp the throne, sought Solomon's grace. Initially, Solomon promised that Adonijah would suffer no harm if he behaved well. However, when Adonijah attempted to marry Abishag, Solomon interpreted it as an act of defiance and betrayal, determining that Adonijah should be executed. Solomon, with his wisdom, stability, and firmness, established himself as one of the most notable kings of Israel, continuing the reign of his father David and ushering in an era of prosperity and influence for the kingdom. Meanwhile, Abishag remained in the palace, but her relationship with the king changed. She did not play a political role in his government, and her story became secondary, as the biblical narrative focused more on events and key characters related to Solomon's reign and the construction of the temple in Jerusalem. The presence of Abishag invites us to explore the nuances of biblical stories and seek profound spiritual lessons behind seemingly secondary characters. This reminds us that the Bible is a rich source of spiritual wisdom, and it often requires looking beyond the surface to fully grasp its messages. Abishag is often seen as a figure representing care, compassion, and tenderness. Her role in caring for the elderly and fragile King David symbolizes the importance of care and compassion in people's lives, especially for those who are more vulnerable. This can be seen as a reflection of the love and concern that God has for His children, caring for them in their weaknesses and needs. She remained loyal to David and served faithfully, despite the political complexities surrounding the court at that time. Her loyalty represents the importance of faithfulness in human relationships and, by extension, in the relationship between humans and God. Just as Abishag remained loyal to David, the faithful are called to remain loyal to God in all circumstances. If you've made it this far, I understand that you must have enjoyed the content. Therefore, I ask you to subscribe to the channel and leave in the comments which theme you would like to see in the next video, or which little explored character you'd like a video about telling their story. May God bless you, and see you soon.